Good morning, Fish and Noob Nation. Welcome to another episode. I'm your host, Anthony Hopkins. It is August 25th, 2017. It is now 10 a.m. Today I'm bringing you something kind of special. Got kind of an unboxing of sorts. Uh, let's get, this is going to be a quick uh, unboxing. It's already, uh, it's only 10 a.m. and it's already 96 degrees out here, so it's going to be kind of quick. Uh, hold on a second. Let me flip the camera around. I'm filming on my iPhone right now. Hold on just a second. Be right back. There it is, guys. The 2017 Vibe Sea Ghost 130. I just picked it up yesterday at Headwaters Kayak Shop in Lodi, California. Thanks to a recommendation by Out West with Chris, one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you, Chris. This was awesome. Thank you, Dan, for hooking me up. Dan Arbuckle is the owner of Headwaters Kayak Shop in Lodi. This kayak is a beast at 13 feet long, 74 pounds. It has a weight capacity of, if I remember correctly, 550 pounds. Retails for $8.99. Comes with the Vibe Hero seat, the paddle, and my favorite part, the rudder. In the waters around my area, it's pretty windy and it's a good current so a rudder is uh, gonna be kind of helpful out here and to deploy the rudder it has a little uh, locking lanyard on there for, for during transport but when you want to deploy your rudder come down here to this little red ball you unlock it there pull rudder goes down and lock it back into place there stays good and secure ready to put the rudder back so you can pull it out of put, pull your kayak out of the water just let it go and it just pops right back up by itself lock it in there good to go this kayak has paddle parks on the port and starboard sides sorry port and starboard right and left sides sorry about the port and starboard i'm a navy man i was in the navy for six years and there's another one right here on the uh the left side here right next to the handles these handles are really good and sturdy especially when you're uh, you're transporting this kayak all the way from the front of my house all the way to back here you got your bow storage oh, I just locked it sorry these bag is removable pretty decent sized bag that's my hand in there it tells you how big this thing is all of my uh, tie down straps for my for the roof rack I also got a uh, a roof rack a Yakima roof rack and it's pretty nice this storage you can pull this bag out the storage goes quite a ways back you can put rods in there other gear that you don't want to get wet when you're out on the water just lock them down there paddle park for when you're standing up and fishing because apparently you can stand up in this thing and fish and if you need to set your paddle down if you got a big fish you just slide your uh, paddle down in there and it just stays there secure you got more storage here like this it's got a good watertight seal around it pretty deep i plan on putting like some uh, ziploc bags full of ice like if i take some earthworms and some sodas and bottles of water this is pretty big space in here so that'll fit nicely What I like best about this part is it all, it's already pre-drilled for other accessories. Like here you got your uh, your transducer hole right there. It goes all the way down. There's a protective plate under there for the transducer. You got Scotty rod mount already done there. Cup holder. Rulers. You got centimeters and inches on this. And locks in place here. locks and here excuse me here we have the foot pegs right here and the top part here this is the tow controls for the uh, for the rudder see your strings go all the way back to the back of the boat to control your rudder there's no hand controls for the rudder it's just the, the foot pedals I kind of like that I can't wait to get this thing out on the water for the maiden voyage right now the seat is in the low position if you want to put it in the high, you just pick it up and 
put it in place. It's actually supposed to be secured with these little bungees down here. And you can see them pretty good. There's kind of bright outside. Sorry about the lighting on both sides. It's got storage compartments for uh, two 3600 Plano boxes right here with bungees. Just put them in there and lock them into place there. It's got two of those, one on this side and one on that side there. You've got two flush mount rod holders there and there. A rear tank well hatch here. More storage. This thing's got a lot of storage. I like that. That's pretty awesome. And it just locks into place there. Another open tank well for a milk crate. Um, bags, whatever you want to put back there, a jacket. That's the Vibe Sea Ghost 130. Retails for $8.99. Comes with the Vibe Hero seat, the paddle. 10 scupper holes with plugs. And up here you got your drain your drain plug here. I'm not gonna pull that all the way out. If you get if by chance you happen to get any water in there, which I find highly unlikely in this thing, you can stand it up and drain whatever water you got in there. I'll leave the, uh, the contact information for Headwaters Kayak Shop after the video. It's at Headwaters Kayak Shop, Lodi, California. Retails for $8.99. 13 foot long, Vibe Sea Ghost 130. 74 pounds. I cannot wait to get this thing out on the water. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to get back in the house. It's about 100 degrees out here now it feels like and it's barely maybe 10 30. all right thanks a lot guys thanks for watching like and subscribe please drop some comments peace